Jack, say hi to the vlog. Hi to the vlog. It's the vlog, bro. How much of a boomer are you? Hi to the vlog. It's the video log. You know that motherfuckers do this every day? And every day they edit it and upload a vlog about their life. Yeah, I mean, there are people who, like, live stream their entire lives. It's fucking crazy. It's a, it's a little odd. It's like, here's me riding my bike down the street. Mm -hmm. I was like, is it really that interesting? And right. Then, here's me getting an abortion. If people, <laughs> if people want to pay me, like, $10 million and you, like, follow me around with a camera and, like, watch me writing on a keyboard. I writing mean, and I, painting figurines, yeah. And painting, right. Yeah, painting figurines. Going down to the deli, buying a coffee. Like, I promise you, it's not that interesting. <laughs> it's not. But people do it. So, Dave, how are you? Don't act natural. Oh. I, it's, not, it's tough, right? What, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> how do you feel about vlogging? About vlogging? Yeah. Is that a it's BDSM the, thing? It's not. I think, isn't that flogging? Yeah, I just thought maybe <laughs> vlogging was doing it with something sharper. Oh, that makes sense. How do I feel about it? I have mixed feelings about it. You know this, I was telling Jack, there's people that fucking vlog every day. Every day, and they edit their video and put it out every single day. I mean, you know, I think it's easy because we didn't grow up with that, yeah. you know, to 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 laugh at something like that or to make fun of it. Right. Yeah. But it's a hustle, right? Forget it. It's a super hustle. I mean, if, if people are recording every day and editing it, and, you know, actually thinking of whether I were to think it was mm -hmm. interesting or not is irrelevant. But their audience, to, yeah. to come up with something every day that people want to watch for whatever reason, I mean, I don't... You see a lot of them, though, like, their their relationships fucking disintegrate. I mean, most people, you don't have to vlog for your relationship to disintegrate. Yeah, right? I mean, most relationships disintegrate, <laughs> right? I mean, I, I, I mean, honestly, when you think about it, don't like ninety nine percent of of all relationships disintegrate. Even people who get married and stay married yeah, for miserable. you know forty or fifty years probably had four or five relationships before that that right. disintegrated. Yeah, so great. Feel good vlog this week, guys. Yeah, yeah right. Oh. So don't fall in love; it'll disintegrate. That's like yeah. Thanos, like a snap. Mm -hmm. Jack Murphy. What's up? Are you getting a burrito this time or not? Nah? No, no burrito. Just getting some uh, monster drink here. Got to fuel up before uh, monster sponsors. Monster. Fox. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we uh, got to get a little juice before before go time because then we start drinking and then it's all over. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What do we normally talk about? When? Between like seven and eight. Seals. That's true. <laughs> it's hot. You're getting it's making it spicy. How horrible the Navy is. Wait, the Navy is awesome. <laughs> it's just bur it had a birthday, no? Uh, yeah, Happy probably. birthday, Navy, 300, whatever. Just. Um. Yeah, when is Toby in for? What's he scheduled um, for? Um, November. November nineteenth. Okay, so yeah, ask him if he can um do next Friday. Okay. And uh, that'll give me a month to plug that gap. Doing real good. This is uh Dave. Have you hey. ever met before? Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, fortunately, neither of us have a social life, and his daughter is old enough to to not Fend care for herself. So. Yeah. yeah exactly. Basically. Oh well, we we drink. I mean, that's that's how we get our. Yeah. And remember, night remember, we've uh, for the bulk of this show's existence, we've been in like COVID era. So we were, I mean, going out and like drinking, having like that wasn't really happening for a long time there. Yeah. Um, so, Luis, uh, just like some bullet points here, 82nd Airborne PL. How many times did you deploy to Iraq or, or, or Afghanistan? 
Uh, sounds like there's plenty to talk about. And I, I mean, if you've ever seen the show before, you know, like we're, we'll just ask you about, you know, kind of your upbringing, your path that took you into the military. Uh, okay. So uh, I will send you a link at uh, like 750 and then we'll roll into it. We'll go live at eight and just roll into it, man. I know it sounds like you got some pretty crazy stories up there. Right, right, right. Gentlemen, right. Queensberry rules or whatever. Yeah. All right, I will. Uh, I'll drop you a line in uh, in like uh, forty-five minutes or so. Uh, I'll shoot you the, the. I'll shoot you another link, and uh, and we'll get to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. You sound and look great. Yeah. He's because he's, he's got a mic. He's Sounds got a real like a legit mic. I, That's, well, I was just talking about his grooming. You need, you need to talk to this, this guy over here. We, we can D. talk to you about our process, but D is really the one who makes the sponsorship. So I can't happen. hear him. My bad. What's he saying? No, he, he's he's asking about like how to how to create a podcast and how to get sponsorships and stuff. And like I, I can I can explain how to make a podcast in a, in a haphazard sort of way, but D is really the one. I'm the truffle pig. We're we're all we're all the prettiest girl at the ball when 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 we all work together. <laughs> <laughs> You know it. All right. So. All right, man. All I'll, uh, I'll hit you up in a little bit, man, and uh, and we'll get to it. All right. All right. Thanks, man. All right. So we have uh, six minutes. I'm gonna run down the hall and take a piss real quick. Are you excited? Yeah, we're really Very. Uh, <laughs> so strong emphasis on you know spec ops and, and intel and stuff like that, and we we haven't got a, gotten a lot of. He wears their assault badge. And oh, I can't remember if he did or not. Uh, but uh, he he told me like when we came back from a mission, he was like, dude, I've never been on a single mission where we had AC one thirty support. He's like, you guys have it on every fucking mission. Yeah. Like, they're, they're trying to figure out how to make modifications to the ones we have and the new planes that are going to be manufactured in the future They're the same thing. They're trying to figure out how to yeah sit We're uh, about a minute out get a booster seat. We're about to go. Okay, so we're gonna go live Just let him know it's gonna go dark. It's gonna go dark and you're gonna see a, uh, a Preview play for a moment and then I'll introduce you and we'll roll into the show um, So if you guys have uh, cell phones or whatever silence them, please Oh, Jesus, I can't do this in one hand. Hold on. What did you do, D? Nothing. No, I'm just what trying to do, do it one hand. i got to hold off on the scotch. You need a pre-game. 11 seconds. A pre-game and I'll be done. I'll be done by the time I get there. It just makes you more charming. Four, three, <laughs> Glad two, you fixed two one go jack hey this is the team house episode 116 i'm jack murphy here with my co-host dave park uh, <laughs> I, I i heard tales back in the day that they used to make you guys uh, your first jump you had to um put one of those little miniature cherry pies from the gas station in your cargo pocket of your pants yeah there's stories of that there's stories of like the red helmet um so what I did see, so here's the thing. By the time I got to the 82nd, it was February of 2005. We were deploying in March. So the, I didn't jump before I left. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Great dudes. Really great dudes. BP, yeah. BP Izzy, thank you for your donation. And everyone, we'll see you next week. Take care out there. In that valley or wadi when they're flying through it, you don't know they're flying. Right? That's fine. So, man, crazy. they'll come up and they'll, like, just, you know, either scream up or they'll pop up. And man, it's when they just fucking, dude, there's, there's nothing when you're like, when you're like, when the whole world's coming down on you and you're like, fuck, there's nothing like a fucking, it's like a ray of sunshine, like, like a helicopter or an AC-130 or a fucking A-10 were all coming in and you're like, oh my God, it is, man. It, it is, it, it's like a spiritual moment. <laughs> it is like a fucking spiritual moment because what what was bleak like it what was bleak and we we're like fuck man like i don't know how we're getting out of this and all of a sudden man those fucking thing whatever it is comes in and just fucking starts fucking laying hate you're like 
and and you can't like it's a visceral like you can't help it you cheer you're yeah like, fuck yeah fuck those dudes up <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> fuck those dudes up it makes sense that one of your uh, uh, TRPs was um, La Fonda because 2004 Napoleon Dynamite had come out it, it was so fucking massive like we used to watch it all the time oh yeah we the, used to watch it every day in Iraq the first time I saw Napoleon Dynamite was when we were ripping out of Afghanistan in 2005 yeah and we were in Bagram on the way out of, from, I was in Salerno, so we are in Bagram ready, getting ready to fly out, and somebody got the Haji copy yeah. of Napoleon Dynamite, and, and I saw that, I saw them watching it, I was like, why are you guys watching this weird movie, and then that scene comes on where he's dancing yeah. in the moon boots, yeah. and yeah. I'm like, this movie's amazing, <laughs> put it back on, let's watch, let's watch. <laughs> me and Johnny used to watch Hey yo guys, it's D, uh, the producer of the Team House. I uh, just want to say thanks for watching this. Thanks for watching the show and subscribing and supporting. Uh, I screwed up a little bit and I didn't really shoot an ending to this you know, behind the scenes vlog kind of thing. So this is me trying to save the day by doing something stupid and silly. Again, I just want to say thank you and uh, like and subscribe, do all that stuff. Rate and review it if you listen to us on the uh, podcast platforms. And uh check out the patreon of course and again the best thing you could possibly do is share it with your friends um and yeah that's it guys i really appreciate it and uh see you in the next one laters